What's up? In this tutorial, we're going to go over Spry Accordion. Uh, this is similar to the tabbed panels that we went over in the last tutorial, except um, it's it's not actually tabs. It's uh, it's what's called an accordion. Um, the difference between the two is is well, it'll be visible whenever I, whenever I show you in a second. But they are both actual tools that are used in a web page to display content and to organize it basically uh, you'll have instead of here we'll have accordions instead of tabs and we'll have the same content um, but we'll just be displaying it differently so uh, let's let's create one and then this will make sense when I create it so go over here inside of uh, insert spry and go to spry accordion and it inserts all of the code for us and you can see the difference between this one and the last one is that we had an on order list here before and now we have divs and we have the actual label for the div or for the for the accordion inside of the first and second div instead of all of the labels inside of the first uh, on order list so let's run this and I'll show you what it looks like you see we have the label one and the content one and then when we click on label two it's going to move up and it's going to show us what's inside label two just like that and you can create as many of these accordions as you need um, you just, it's just like you do in the last one you go and you click on add and it'll add it for you just like that so now you can see that instead of having two we have three and we can move back and forth in between each one and just like with the tapped panels you can control the look and feel of all of this inside of the CSS here you can see all the different styles there and feel free to go in and edit them and change it around so you can make it look exactly how you want to make it look and that is basically all you need to know about how to create accordions inside of Dreamweaver CS4. Um, these things are, are really cool when you're dealing with different pieces of data that you want to display but they all they are similar in a way and you can put them all in a little accordion and the user can scroll or not scroll but click and it, she can she or he can see what is inside of each accordion. And the next tutorial we're going to be going over class collapsible panels. And we're actually going to be taking a few things that we learned in the past forms series and using that inside of the collapsible panels. Uh, this next tutorial is my favorite thing that has to do with Spry. Um, so make sure and watch that because I think you guys are really, really going to like the collapsible panels. So I will see you in the next tutorial.